Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to look at data push destination feature on the UXA dashboard. So the first step is to go ahead and set up the dashboard with the proper settings. So at the top right corner, you will go into the settings page. And under settings, we have data push under integrations column, wherein you can see I already have a couple of them set up and running but we have test results as well as issue data with the destination types as AWS S3, BigQuery, and Elasticsearch, and the generic HTTP endpoint as well. So each destination type requires a different type of settings. Then the next one is the sample UXI test results on the mode analytics. And I have made like a couple of SLA reports. So this one is for Zoom meetings. And as you can see, I have plotted uh, Zoom meetings metrics like latency, jitter, mean opinion score. And I have plotted for different networks with different sensor names on the left-hand side. Uh, the beauty about mode analytics is you can export this all data into a CSV or PDF format. So basically you're offloading all the test results data from the UXI dashboard into this mode analytics. Uh, then of course you can get the metrics over a period of time. You can see the census name here. And as you hover over that, you can get the informations as well. And on the right hand side, you will get the metrics versus hour of the day. So for example, if you want to test Zoom meetings for a certain hour of the day, you can definitely select the timestamp and you can get those results. Now in the next one, we are going to look at the Elasticsearch Cloud. So let me adjust the time frame first. And you can go as long as uh, you have actually configured this Elasticsearch Cloud with your UXI, and you can go up to last one year of the data. And as you can see in the first one, I have set it up for AP association time for one of my SSID. And on the right hand side, you should see all the census names, how the census are performing for AP association times. And as you can hover over the graph, you can get individual results as well in the milliseconds. You can add a filter as well. So let's say if you want to build your own graphs, uh, you can basically put a filter saying that you want to filter it for a particular sensor name. And you can put the sensor name as, let's say I'm filtering it for JW Marriott sensor. And if I save it, I will precisely get the results for that sensor only. And as you can see, not only my AP association time changed, but DSCP DORA uh, graph, which is just below it, is also changed for JW Marriott sensor. This is a DSCP DORA, and as you can see, uh, I'm only getting a result for JW Marriott, so we have only filtered for it. Then this is RSSI signal strength for JW Marriott sensor, and then uh, primary DNS lookup time and web application as well here at the bottom. And as I hover over that, I'm getting the values as well for the DNS lookup time. And this is like a, one of the example of pie chart that you can build using same test results data. So yeah, this is it. Uh, thank you so much uh, and I'll see you into the next one.